What's up, survivors? Welcome back to another beginner's guide playthrough fun time. Okay, so today I want to cover moving on to the next stage of upgrading gear. All right, so by now, you know, you've explored a little bit of the map probably. You know, you've probably explored a little bit up here. You might have explored over here. You have. You might have even gone to the area over here. And I am going to touch that in the next episode. We are going to actually start pushing this direction. Actually, we're actually going to be going up north here real quickly. Because uh, we're going to bypass a bunch of stuff right now. Because I kind of want to push north. And then uh, there's an actually a, a reason behind that. Because we're going to be upgrading gear today. What I mean by upgrading gear is we're going to progressing into steel and now we might not get steel on everything but we're going to get steel on a good chunk of stuff now we're about to hit 40 so we're definitely going to hit 40 during this uh little time frame here um so we're going to have to upgrade to steel tools steel weapons um and heavy armor okay so first we're going to go into survivability now steel tools you learn at level 30 okay so by now, like I said, you probably, you should already be level 30. So you can start jumping in getting like your, your steel pick, your steel hatchet, your steel sickle and your steel repair hammer if you should ever need it. So we're gonna learn that right now. Then at 31, you learn the steel skinny knife and the steel cleaver. So we're gonna learn that as well, okay? The other thing that we're going to learn is we're gonna dive into the tier two healing items. So we're gonna get the concentrated aloe potion and the numbing wraps so and then there's the demolisher's bench which we're going to learn that as well now i am not going to learn the tier two master craft craftsman stations like the potion maker um alchemist station um the master blacksmith station which gives us the improved furnace and the improved blacksmith workbench as well as the improved carpenter's bench i'm not going to dive into those right now they are definitely better but we're not going to get into those and then we're going to go into weapons. We're going to go to one-handed weapons. So we have the iron war axe, which is one of the weapons. We have the studded iron mace. So we're going to learn these as well. So we can get our one-handed weapons. Oh. And then also, um, not in this episode, but in the next episode, I'm going to cover religion because we need to start talking about religion. I've been holding that off for long enough. And then I'm also going to dive into... Um, unlocking sorcery and unlocking the map room in the next episode so that's that's kind of like our time frame for this this episode and the next episode i am going to be recording them both today at the same time um i am going to take a little bit of break but i'm going to knock out both those um and i will try to put both those episodes out around the same time but no guarantees <laughs> but i'm going to be recording them back to back like this one all right so that is kind of what we're going to be diving into. Now, something else that I do want to touch basis on here real quick is your journal. Okay, your exile journal. Now, I have been ignoring this up until now. Um, well, somewhat ignoring it. As you can see, I have been doing it. Do not ignore this. Okay, guys, make sure you are doing your journal. All right. It does unlock special things. You do get access to like special materials. Um, you can get, you know, simple repair kits and stuff you can unlock special types of things that you can't unlock unless you actually like this you can get the improved tanners table which actually i believe is like 20 percent faster at a job than the normal one um you can unlock the perfect weapons so like if i were to do steel smithing which we are going to be working on because we're going to be unlocking steel today um these are better than your normal steel weapons so unlocking this so doing this will get you access to new special uh, uh perfected weapons um you get the purple lotus potion if you do the thrall one uh you can get the refined lance for doing that um farmer gives you a special compost you get a mix for that um, if you do the Mountaineer, you get a, uh, a special pair of spider climbing boots, which can't be crafted. They're a special a special case. Um, there's another one in here. You get the improved dismantler's bench for doing dismantling. We're going to cover that at some point. Um, if you do purge defender, um, 
you get access to the golden strategian raider set you know like i said there are things that you get access to you do raider you get access to the ironstone siege boulder that you should will start being able to craft um the uh acolyte league set like special earrings like, like i said guys there's 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 certain things that you only unlock um the ranger armor a die pack which gives you more dies and more specialized tools so you unlock stuff by doing these so make sure you're doing them all right all right oh access oh i already started oh well, yeah access um i went out and farmed a bunch of this because we are going to be diving into steel today uh craft tar we have tar already we've got tons of tar i've been out crafting like crazy gather brimstone we already gathered brimstone take that out put that in our invent oh that's gonna make me actually go do it well don't you just suck yep it does okay well i'll deal with that later so anyways so making steel how do we make steel guys well the first step to making steel in this game well the this the journal step is going to show us how to do it but the next step is you need tar and brimstone okay to make steel fire and this is how you make steel fire so i'm just going to craft this up now and get that started okay so while that's crafting up <clears throat> Did I already get steel? I thought I did. Anyways, it's somewhere. I know I already have some steel. Okay, so once you get steel, um, for the tar, in order to make tar, you have to go to the tanner's bench and you got to put hides in here to make leathers. When you're doing that, you get a uh, the byproduct of making leather is tar. So you take the tar and you go put it over here into your fireball cauldron and then it will craft you up your steel fire, okay? Um, a brimstone if you watch one of my previous videos i believe it was my last video i talked about the sinner's refuge and the galliman's tomb sinner's refuge and galliman's tomb as well as uh Hineman's, Hineman's grotto no Hineman's grotto doesn't ignore that ignore that ignore that 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 didn't that doesn't um these two caves right here so you have this one at g4 and this one at h4 okay these two caves will give you brimstone and a lot of it okay it is the closest brimstone that is accessible to the noob area outside of the cave that's over here there's another cave that's kind of like right here that also will have brimstone in it as well but these would be this spot right up here is the closest to the center of the map um where you can find tons of brimstone um there's some spider caves up here that will have brimstone in them and then, of course, there's the cave over here that has brimstone in it. And then, obviously, if you head up to here, this whole entire area, which is poison gas from the brimstone, has got tons of brimstone, as well as many other locations on the map. But for the starting position, these two right here are going to have a ton of brimstone. All right. So moving from here, that's where you get the brimstone. Like I said, I showed it in my last video. You can go back and watch it. It was kind of just us out exploring and stuff like that. All right, so now that you got your brimstone, you got your tar, you start making your steel fire. All right, so let's grab our steel fire here real quickly after this last craft. All right, so you got your steel fire. You come over to your furnace where you, well, well I was making it, but I'm going to pull, put this in here. And as soon as I put this in here, this says it will make 13 steel bars with this steel fire. So I'm actually going to take these out. I'm going to put them in here because they're just crafting away. I'm going to grab this. I'm actually going to grab all this because I made a ton of it already. So we're going to put that in there. And that's going to start crafting steel bars. Okay. Now I am going to have to wait for this to finish crafting because I completely forgot to. Um, actually, I'm going to do this real quick. So in a previous video, um, I talked about the crafting time multiplier okay well it turns out there is currently at least i believe this is a bug because the thrall crafting time multiplier is supposed to affect the crafting speed of a thrall when it's being you know recruited tamed stuff like that well apparently they are also affected by the crafting time multiplier which i think is a bug I just, i'm 100 percent positive that's not supposed to affect it because I have never had that issue before. So I'm wondering if that happened, they made that derp when they did the update to increase their speed, that they kind of overlooked that. So we'll have to see 
um, what happens with that and move forward. Okay, so hopefully that whole situation gets fixed and we can move on from that. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be taking a little bit of an issue right now because I just just switched it over, so it takes a little while for it to kick in. All right, so give me one hot second to fix that, and then we will get right back to it. All right, so now that you have this, okay, so you've got all of this, all these steel bars here. Now you're gonna come over and you're gonna go in here and you're gonna look for the ones that kind of have like the whitish, the more lighter tin to it. So you've got your your steel pickaxe. So when you make this, you need 30 steel bars, five branches, and 15 leather. So you're gonna come over to your your bench. Make sure that you grab your leather. I am gonna have to grab a little bit more here soon. I'm just gonna go in here real fast. Craft that up. Where did I put it all? There's a bunch of it right there. Um, let me just put, I just want about 200 of it. Should be enough to get us going. Um, and then we can get ourselves some steel tools. So we're gonna craft one of these. We're gonna craft one of these. Oh, we need four planks for that, but we will craft, oh, we need four planks for that. We're gonna craft one of these. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna grab some wooden planks. We already have a bunch of them crafted up. Just gonna grab 10. All right. If I can get into the workbench, thank you. And then we're gonna craft one of those and one of those. Awesome. So that should replace all of our tools. So we've got our steel pick, our steel hatchet, our steel cleaver, our steel sickle, and our steel skinning knife. All right, so we're just gonna come over here and we're gonna put away all of our iron ones for now. So we have all those right there. So the steel ones are definitely gonna be much better than iron, so you're gonna want to upgrade. So make sure you do upgrade because the steel ones are right here. You have to be level 40. So I have to get one more level to unlock the steel one. Um, oh, actually, we can do the steel mace. I didn't even notice that until now. We need one more level to unlock this steel Sumerian battle axe. So actually, <laughs> let's put this back because I made a boo-boo. Um, where was it? There it is right there. Steel mace. Sorry, I misspoke. So I need one more level to unlock the steel mace or the steel axe. So we will put this away in there. So I don't remember how much XP that we get for doing this. So let's actually go see if we can get this last level here real fast. Highly doubt one of these guys is going to get us our level. Gators killing everybody. No, you stole my XP! You sack of crap! Ah, he stole my XP. How dare he. Alright, let me go level up real fast. Alright, we're leveled up. <laughs> killed, killed a few more gators than I needed to. Alright, so we're going to put this, uh, this back. Um, and then we're going to open this up. We're going to come back here into knowledge, go to weapons, and then Sumerian battle axe, which is our steel one. Now, so let me put this away. I don't even know why I have it out. So a little thing right here off the top, off the back guys here real fast. So the very first dungeon, I brought this up before that we were going to do this. Now I am at the point now, once you're like level 40, you've got good heavy armor, good stats, full steel weapons. The dungeon's going to be a breeze by this point. So if you if you've been holding off on afraid to do it, do it. Trust me, you'll you'll be able to do it just fine. We we are going to cover it. Don't worry, we will cover it. Um, nope, oh, there it is. Sumerian battle axe. Let's craft that. It takes thirty steel bars and five branches. So we're going to want to get this, and we're going to put it right. And let's take that, and stick that there. Okay, and then we're going to stick these weapons and tools. We're going to just stick them in here. We no longer need these anymore. There we go. 
All right, so now that we got that, we got all of our new tools, all of our new weapons ready to go. All right, so we're going to come over here. We're going to come back here before we use them in combat. Uh, I'm just going to throw that out. That was part of the battle thingy ma pooper that I was doing. I'm pretty sure um, I already learned it, but let me make sure. No, I did not. I got to learn the apprentice weaponsmith because we are the print well basically the weaponsmith not the apprentice one but the weaponsmith one now because we want to be able to have the better kits so i'm probably gonna have to go grab steel now yep let me go grab some steel all right come over here and then i'm gonna grab uh, let me just grab about 150 should be enough to get us going because we gotta we got to remod all of our new stuff i'll right, put that right there and then we're going to grab two of the weapon damage kits. Okay. So we got those. So we're our steel weapon. So we're looking at 32, 25%, 9, So 32, 25, 9, So I went from 32 to 36. This didn't change. This didn't change. Our battle axe, 35, 7, 6, 1. 35 so 0 7 6 1 so from 35 to 39 so that's not too bad actually so we're gonna put those on our bar because we are using one-handed strength weapons so we now have our battle axe and our mace which will be perfect for taking down undeads like skeletons rock noses and stuff with hard shells and then this to deal with fleshy stuff okay pretty simple all right Next, we need to modify all of our tools. Now, I like to go with the efficiency ones. So we need five of these. So we're just going to do one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to get the efficiency ones going here. And we're going to modify all of our tools with the efficiency upgrades. Just so they can do slightly better at their job. I'm going to put that one on my bar and that one on my bar and then move the rest up here. So there we go. Now we've upgraded to steel tools. We've got them all modified. We'll be able to farm better, craft better, harvest better. Well, not craft better, but we'll be able to farm better, battle better. All this stuff will be done better with this. So we've got that fully upgraded. We're good to go. Um, uh, we also have the... Uh, blunted weapon fitting i'm going to actually make a couple of these real quick because we should have enough points to unlock the next tier of this perfect which will give us the iron truncheon and the torturer's workbench so we can put that down and we can upgrade upgrade to because you'll need the torturer's work table to make the rawhide bindings and the iron truncheon which will be better they'll do much more concussive damage to knock stuff out a lot more effectively so we're going to want those so we've already got the uh the blunt fittings for the iron one so we're good to go on that all right so we got that out of the way so the next thing what is the next thing so the next thing that you're going to want to do is if you haven't already been up there and you haven't done it yet you need to start thinking about um heavy armor now obviously some more experienced players probably would already have heavy armor by like level 10. like that's probably the first thing they do is they just go straight for heavy armor they get it for their thralls they know how to deal with it but if you're a new player you might be hesitant about you know traveling to places that are going to have tougher creatures or traveling too far north out of fear of you know dying and have to run very far stuff like that well, that's why you always want to make sure that you have a sleeping bag on hand at all times so you can place it down in case you might die. Oh, and we did level up, so I do want to give myself that extra attribute. All right, so for level 10, or should I say for your 10th point in to authority, the only one that's actually, in my opinion, okay, in my opinion, is healthy diet. Now, if you're somebody who, if you're, if you're fighting next to your thralls in combat, and you like if you're like all up in stuff's face and you want them to get a slight heal during combat you could go with this but honestly it doesn't heal them enough to really make it worth it in my opinion i guess 
if you have authority maxed out and you go with well trained and you do the the combat healing and you're fighting next to your thrall inside of a boss fight and you're doing lots of extra damage and you just want that slightly extra boost to healing so they won't die then yes sure i guess it would be worth it again there is no right or wrong answer to some extent but i prefer the healthy diet and the reason why is because when they're not in combat they heal really fast and if they're healing really fast out of combat they're using less food to heal out of combat which allows their food to last longer so you're not giving them as much food so i'm gonna go with healthy diet this also means that now i do i believe it's like 0.4 percent more concussive damage than normal um or 0.5 or something i don't know the exact math i think i know it's somewhere around that or actually i think it might be higher i think it might be like four percent um i don't know the exact numbers it's there there isn't an exact number to it though but you do way more concussive damage um as you hit every fifth tier um so yeah keep that in mind that you will do more damage obviously if you have the iron truncheon you're going to do more damage too so if you're struggling to knock out that end game thrall and you just want to be able to knock them out quick and not have to sit there and play ring around the rosy for you know five minutes then just boost up your authority to like 15 points and you should be good to go all right and then we got ourselves at 10 strength 10 vitality 10 authority and 10 expertise so we've got decent carry weight we've got good authority so our thrall is going to do good damage we're going to be able to knock them out uh, enemy thralls really well we've got passive healing as well as a 50 percent increase for healing items for healing effect minus the arrow which i find very very stupid that the healing arrow isn't affected by that come on funcom fix that please that should be a thing um and then um uh strength we got 10 into strength so our combo finisher does 20 percent more damage heavy blows and special attacks do 10 percent more damage all that fun jazz all right so the sun should be coming up any second now yep it's coming up right now all right so this is going to be a little bit of a long trip i don't think i have anything on you do i no i do not perfect i got food i got water all right so where are we going exactly it's time to get heavy armor and we need to make thick leather to do heavy armor so how do you make thick leather well thick leather is made from thick hides or heavy hides and one of the best places to go to to get it my opinion of course is you can go one of two directions you can either go straight north you can go over this giant desert up here that's basically Defari's home territory, leading straight to this savanna up here. And then when you get to the savanna, well, there's a couple of things you can do. This is a whole other section. I was really hoping to avoid this, but unfortunately, we kind of don't have a choice. We're going to do it because um, we're going to be passing up a ton of stuff that would like to touch on. But... I, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip over all this and just jump straight to the savannah and then show you guys the savannah because there's so much stuff between here and there that I'm just going to be passing up. There's no way I could fit it all in the episode. So and to avoid even attempting to even stop and look at it, I'm just going to jump all the way to the savannah and then show you guys once we get there. Um, I'm going to meet you guys like right about here, okay? So i see you guys in a hot second. all right guys we're here took me a hot second i did um attempt my hardest to avoid going too close to anything to trigger it um but yeah so we're all the way here basically all i did is i kind of came over here there's a path you can take that you can cut through this way and then you can just come around and then i just swerved this way avoided going near this place and then i just kind of flopped down here and then i just kind of ran all the way over here and then kind of just like climbed up the wall and then jumped right up here. So that's how I got here. Um, again, I try to skip past a bunch of stuff because I don't want to show too much of that area just yet. Because that's like a handful. I could fit like five separate videos just on all the stuff between here and here. Like just all of this is like tons of tons of stuff. And I just kind of want to show it all as one big thing. All right. So elephants, savannah, stuff. And, of course, this place, which has been changed. The ruins. And a blood crystal rock nose. 
Yeah, hi there, Blood Crystal Rock Nose. Did I pull that tiger? Oh, although, uh... The, oh, I did pull the tiger. Oh, wait a minute, hold up. That's a larger variant of the Blood Crystal Rock Nose. Owie! Tried to roll out of that. There we go. Obviously, with steel tools, you you want to make sure you're using a club so you can get past their armor. If you use a, a bladed or a piercing weapon, it's going to take a long time. But here we go. So we got the elephant down. You can do elephants or rhinos. Okay, so you walk up to it, carve it with your skinning knife, it flies away. Okay. <laughs> Not really, but we're getting elephant hides and thick hides as well as exotic flesh. And then we also got a tux, tusk. So right here, here you go. So the thick hide is what you're looking for. This is the main ingredient to make um, the thick leather. Okay. Or that, you know, thick leather for making thick paddings. And then you can take elephant hides and rhino hides and break them down into thick hides to make more. And then the exotic flesh for making better food and then tusks for other stuff. So we're going to farm a little bit of it here real quick. And we're going to go. I'm not going to worry about harvesting up that thing. I am going to take this blood crystal. All right. So we're going to go up here and we're going to kill this other elephant here real quick. Get out of his way before he decides to do something stupid. Ugh, if I can even get close enough. Hello. So as you can see, I'm using a bladed weapon. As you can see, I'm not doing nearly as much damage. Like I'm doing damage, but not as much as I could be doing. And I switch over to my mallet. And you get that armor um, reduction, that sundering. You do way more damage. Alright, there we go. Leveled up again. So we're come over here, make it fly away, and get some more of that beautiful hide. I didn't want to get on the, uh, the horsey. I just wanted to access your inventory. Because we are going to start weighing ourselves down, so we might as well stick that in there. I'm just going to get rid of the, the, the flesh. Get rid of that stone. I'll keep that for now. All right. And then just keep going. Now, there is um, a couple things you got to keep an eye out for here, okay? One, that gray elephant over there is Thunderfoot. It is a world boss um, elephant. He is a three skull, so be careful of him. Just up there... See that kind of, like, pride rock off to the side there? Not that pride rock, okay? That pride rock. Just towards the end of it by the water, where those waterfalls are coming down, there's a white tiger over there. Be careful. He hurts. And then also be careful going up to the tip of this pride rock. There is a scald lion, up, or an actual scald lion up there, okay? Not a tiger, an actual lion. Like I said, get that, get that sunder going, that armor reduction, and things melt very quickly. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit more farming so I can make sure that I got enough of this stuff before I head back, and then I will see you guys back at the base. Oh, hold up! Before we do that, um, the baby elephants you can find on this side. And then if we head over to the other side, you can get rhinos and baby rhinos. Um, and then right here, you can find a couple of baby tiger cubs right there. See the two baby tiger? Or there's three technically, not two. But you can just barely see them right over here by those bushes. There's three baby tiger cubs right there. And then you have a handful of elephants, baby elephants over here. 
some calf elephants. There's about three or four of them total. And then if you come around this way, and then if you look up there, that is where the skull, the lion is at, is up there on that hill, just sitting down on Pride Rock. And then if you come right over here near this watering hole where all the rhinos are, you can find a bunch of baby rhino calves all over the place right here. There's one right there. There's one over there. Um, and then you can also find one of the rhino skulls. I think this is the one skull. Yeah, this is just the one skull right here. Um, there is no three skull rhino over here. Just the one. And yeah, that's about it. Pretty simple. That is just a normal lion right there. Or tiger, not lion. All right. I'm going to do a little bit more farming and then I'll meet you guys back at base. <clears throat> All right, so we're back, guys. All right, I uh, just wanted to sh come up here real quick. So right here, um, if you're old school, you probably are familiar with a camp that used to be here. Um, it's gone. Because it is making room for a Satijan war base. Um, they will be building a castle here. Now, I have my I have my speculations about this, okay? Okay, all right. I'm gonna show you guys here real quick. It's this right here. This is what's getting built here. Now, is it exactly going to be this? Ah, uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That looks pretty big. I mean, that's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which would make that 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, possibly 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and so on. That's a really high building. I don't know if it's going to be that big. But if it is, it's going to be big. <laughs> it's at least going to be 30 walls high all the way to the top. Counting from the probably the castle walls that will be all the way down here, all the way up to the building that's sitting in the center, which is probably, you know, the total height is probably going to be 30 to 35 walls high going all the way up. I mean, that's going to be big if that's the case. That's just my speculation, of course, but it is definitely going right here. Um, I mean, if this is to be believed, this tapestry right here is to be believed based off of its location. Um, it's going to be a pretty decent sized castle. I mean, that's those are that's a squad right there. It looks like of 9 cuz you got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. So, walking across that bridge to get in this gate right here. It could potentially be pretty big. Of course, this is just a tapestry that just probably makes it look fancy, but meh, we'll see. Anyways, meet you guys back at base. All right, we're back at base. Um, I forgot to pick up some um, elephants on the way back, but I did grab two rhinos and two tiger cubs. So rhino calves and rhino cubs. So I stuck them in here with some food. So hopefully we'll see what we get. We might get lucky. All right, let's take our stuff over here. And then we're going to start crafting our thick hide so we can make our heavy armor. All right. Can I get off, please? Thank you. Put you there. Go here. I didn't get a whole bunch, but I did get a nice chunk. Let's go. We're going to have to cover. There's so many things that I want to cover. Like, we've got so many guides, guys. <laughs> I just don't have a... I just... So many I want to do. All right, so let's get these in here. Start crafting that. That'll give us 557 there, which is way more than we'll probably ever need. And then we're going to take the elephant and rhino skins. We'll do the rhino ones first, and we'll strip those. And then we'll do the elephant ones next. That's the bear. I want elephant. And we'll strip those. As you can see, it's stripping them. You're getting three per... Um, two so tear down two of these and you get three so we're just gonna let that go and this is already crafting away even with the boosted uh, crafting speed because I did put it back at 0 
um just because it needs i just need it to go by faster if i'm doing these guides even in single player i know that it's gonna hurt um i'm hoping they get around to fixing it because i'm pretty sure it's a bug but it does affect the crafting time for your thralls apparently somebody in one of my videos did point that out um that is not how it's supposed to be that that definitely has to be a bug because they do have their own uh crafting multipliers so if you go into here the crafting so the crafting time multiplier is only supposed to affect items that are crafted while the thrall crafting multiplier is supposed to affect thralls that are crafted well for some reason the crafting time multiplier is affecting the thralls right now and it's not supposed to these are separate these are two different things so hopefully that gets fixed i did put a bug report in so if you guys do notice it please report it as well because it's not supposed to be a thing okay so thank you again for uh i believe it was a djv or dvj or whoever you are you know who you are <laughs> he pointed it out in one of my videos um i was unaware that it was doing that i was under the assumption that that they were just crafting really fast and i was just losing track of time no no that wasn't the case they, they were crafting uber fast for some reason, just because of that. All right, so um, I do have this blood crystal that we got off that rock nose. So we are going to put this away. So we are up to 48 blood crystal now off of just the two rock noses we've killed. Keep in mind, guys, I am playing on three times harvesting rate, so it will be different for you. Let me grab this silk and put it over here. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's breaking all this down nice and quick. We're getting plenty of thick hide to make all this lovely thick leather. Okay, almost done breaking this all down. Couple more. All right, I'm gonna grab um, about half of this because we're gonna need this in armor bench to make our um, uh, heavy paddings. Because you need 40 thick leather per padding, and we're going to need five... Well, we're going to need 10 paddings. <laughs> we're going to need 10 of these, because we got to make armor for our um, cannibal brute as well. Oop, wrong thing. You know what? I will bring you guys back when this is done, because this is going to take a little bit. All right, so I got the paddings. Um, we are going to be making... Uh, the Barbarian Shaman set. So the Pictus Warchief. Um, and the reason I'm going to make this set is because this set right here has strength built into its um, attribute boosting. So why can I only make... Oh, I don't have enough horns to make two. Oh, wait, maybe I do. Let me double check over here. Oh, I can only make one. Meh, whatever. It's going to me. <laughs> all right so we're gonna come down here we're gonna scroll down and just for now until i can glamour it um there's two options if you have the ability to mod you can get the immersive armor mod which will allow you to glamour right off the back at level one or you can go and unlock sorcery which is probably what we're going to do in the next episode because i want to go explore um, this region because I want to unlock sorcery and I want to kind of show you guys um, a little bit of this region. I did kind of dabble in this a little bit in the first episode where I talked about farming iron, about how this was like one of the the best places in the early game area to farm iron was right here. Um, but I kind of want to unlock sorcery, which is going to be um, in this area of the map that I want to go to. And then I kind of want to also head to... Um, the uh the unnamed city my brain derps so i can unlock the map room so we can at least get a start on that as well all right so anyways let's scroll down here go to the war chief set we're gonna make one helmet we're gonna make two of these hands two legs two boots two chest pieces all right <clears throat> No, I'm gonna go get one more horn. Hold up. All right, we're back. <laughs> I'm sorry, my OCD was going crazy. 
All right, so we got the full set. So we're going to come over here. We're going to go around this edge. Do, 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 do. And we're going to grab our armor modifications. I am going to grab the... Uh, you know what? Actually, I think I'm going to do only one set. I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do just one set with the armor plating. I'm going to give it to my thrall. And then I'm going to take the... Um, where is it? This one right here. Which is the... Uh, no, not that one. Where is it? Yeah, isn't there... Yeah, this one right here. Armor weight reduction kit to load, reduce the weight of the... Right, so we're out here with our thrall, so we're going to give the heavy armor set to our thrall. So as you can see, she jumped from, what was it, 499 up to 750. Now, the only reason why she's 750, by the way, guys, is because she is very heavy in grit. As you can see, she has an additional 310 armor boost because she gets she gets a point into grit every time she levels on top of her 15 points that she started with and the three she got from Thick Skull. She already has 31 points into grit. That's why she has 310. So she's all like she's got almost the equivalent of an epic set. Nah, maybe not almost an equivalent of an epic set. Pretty darn close. Maybe about another two, three hundred points and she will be. So she's got really good armor um right off the back now with this heavy set with this now the reason why i gave her the the uh the um armor attachment pieces because it increases their the armor value so that's why she's also that high as well too um and she doesn't it doesn't weight doesn't matter to her so it doesn't matter now with this set crafted by me because technically i was a crafter you get three six nine twelve fifteen percent extra damage to her strength so if i go in here you'll notice that max strength damage bonus is 26 percent because she got a 15 percent boost because of her armor on top of what she's already getting which is um what is that 80 so 89 93 percent chance of getting the strength every level as long as she has gruel on her so yeah powerhouse that doesn't need a whole lot of health because she's got a ton of armor and a ton of damage so and then for me i am going to be doing this set because i did this so if you look right here this is 11.9 and i look at her chest piece her chest piece is 29.7 so it's a massive jump for her and then i wear it and this keeps my weight down so if i put this set back on and then let's say I drop, so that's three, 3.9, 8.5, 9.8. So as you can see, it's it's slightly lower than a medium set in weight. So I actually gain a little bit of my carry weight back by wearing this armor with the weight reduction piece. And the reason why is because I'm not gonna be getting hit as often as she is. So I don't need the armor as much as she will. Okay, that's kind of the rule of thumb there. It's like you don't need to worry about it as much as she does. All right. Okay, and I'm going to take a quick hot second break. I know I'm kind of jumping back and forth here, guys, so, but I have to put my daughter to bed real fast. All right, guys, I am back. Wasn't long for you guys, but it was long for me. So quick thing here real fast. Um, I did finish the um, journey step for steel smithing, so I unlocked it, unlocked the perfected steel light weapons, um, which means I now have the perfected steel battle axe, which is actually better than the normal battle axe. So as you can see, this is the imp this is the augmented one that I already put the damage in. It is thirty nine zero percent, where this one is forty zero percent which makes it now 44 over 39. So it is definitely better and worth doing for that extra five points of damage. 
So I probably should have thought about that beforehand, but you know what? It's not like steel is that hard to come by. So I guess I'll put that in there for now. One more weapon to grind up later. <laughs> and then I gotta put some of the steel fire over here, create some more, get some more of that going. All right. So that is the perfected Sumerian steel battle axe. Um, not gonna dive into the hardened ones yet because I can't even make those. So I won't mess with that. Uh, I'm not going to dive into expert armor just yet. Although, actually, I probably could have done this since I did just get done making heavy armor. I should have done this. That would teach me the advanced armor repair kit. Um, I'll just do that behind the scenes. Um, and then I'll probably dive into the thrall one here soon. I mean, most of these I'm just going to do behind the scenes, to be completely honest. But just try to remember to stay on top of them as much as you can especially the cardiograph one because the cardiograph one you can only un to unlock this sword um you have to visit all these places and like the summoning place and the black galley like these right here as well as sepa maru even though i've been there behind the scenes um because i was doing something for a guide um I've been to these two places already. Well, I've been by them. I just haven't gone in them yet. I mean, I literally ran past this place twice when I was heading up here so I could do um, to get the hide because right here is the summoning place. That is the Defari's main base. That is technically their capital for the Defari cannibals. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so just make sure that you are switching these up and doing like even if you don't finish them at least like if you're on a specific step just like if you know you're nearby it just toggle it on to make sure that you get the um step for it done so you're not forgetting to do them all right guys and other than that that is pretty much it we covered how to make heavy armor and how to make your steel weapons and steel tools um i do want to dive into um doing the dreads here soon so we'll probably do that within the next few episodes but i'm pretty sure in the next episode um i want to cover i want to unlock sorcery i want to put down our religion stuff and i want to do um the unnamed city we're not going to do the whole thing i'm just going to run in and show you guys how to get to the uh the summoning circle room the choreograph room and how to unlock your map room so you can um, start working on the steps needed to set up your first map room so you can start teleporting around the map to those key locations that we will start diving into because we are going to be coming up on the first two t tablets that you can use to um, teleport to and one of them is right here and the other one is right here. So we are getting pretty close to running into those waystones where you'll be able to teleport to with the map room. And then, of course, unlocking sorcery will allow us to start using the glamour system so we can start making our armor look like we want it to look without having the look that we don't want, as well as start diving into getting sorcery unlocked so we can get the personal teleporter, which is the ultimate goal that everybody goes for. They want that personal teleporter so they can set up teleport waypoints anywhere they want on the map and not be tied down by the map room because the map room is kind of limited which brings me to something i wanted to bring up that a lot of people do not like about my server is map rooms are disabled <laughs> we have map rooms disabled on our server um, because we want people to have to work for the teleporter and the best way to do that is to force them to have to actually level up sorcery to get full access to the personal teleporter, which actually is very hard to do on our server because farming those last two or three ranks is a challenge. All right. So anyways, guys, hopefully this guide helped you guys out with just understanding how to craft your steel, how to craft your thick leather, where you can find your brimstone. Like I said, if you're looking for easy brimstone, you can hit up the Gellyman's tomb or sinner's refuge. Um, for your brimstone, you can make your, uh, to make your steel fire, excuse me, don't forget, you know, making any type of leather will make your tar, and then just go out there and farm your iron, um, like I showed you guys in a previous guide, and uh, my first one, you can go here, 
or in the next guide when I start talking about unlocking the sorcery. I will show you guys again over here near the Tower of Bats. There is a big metal node location to farm your metal. Um, to avoid repeating <laughs> all the places I've already talked about, I'm going to try to avoid going to them every single time just for each individual guide because I am treating this somewhat like a playthrough series, even though... Um, I'm kind of flying through it in some fashion. <laughs> but anyways, guys, take care as always. And don't forget, if you guys have a opinion on a guide that you would like to see me do something a little bit more in-depth into, a little bit more explaining, a little bit more slower, a little bit more step-by-step, -step, please don't hesitate to ask. I will gladly try to fit it into a schedule to get it done for you guys. If there's enough interest in me doing certain things, just let me know. Also, remember, please be respectful in the comments, as always, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up if this was a helpful little guide for you. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.